outside of my mom's house because she has these beautiful skinny little windows, uh, which a lot of people in this area have. I have them too. Um, and unfortunately, as great as they are for letting nice light into your house, they also allow people to see directly into your house, which is a bad idea on so many levels. Finding blinds this narrow was not easy. What we did was order 10 inch wide blinds off of Home Depot online and when they came in we took them back into the store to have an inch cut off of either side. Which they will do in the store as long as you purchase them from Home Depot online and I'm sure other home improvement stores that sell blinds would do the same thing. They were hesitant though to trim them because they were afraid if they trimmed off so much on either side that it would interfere with the mechanisms at the top and render the blinds inoperable. But that did not turn out to be the case. Now the first thing I did was make sure that I had all the appropriate hardware because you don't want to get started on a project and find you don't have all the right stuff. I knew that I was dealing with a very narrow wall on those windows so I had to make sure I had enough small screws to use and in fact I had to go out to the garage and get some additional small screws to work with. Mark the holes where you need them to be, pre-drill some holes, and then get your screws in and drop <sighs> one. Crap and tighten them up with a drill. And then just repeat the process on the other side. Just pop that baby in there, push those clips down, and they're up. Unravel the cord and untie it. If you find that your blinds are a little too long and you need to take a couple of these levels out, it's really easy. You'll see that there's two little caps here at the end. You just need to carefully lift those. Now, I'm going to pull these out. There it is. Okay, untie the knot. Ha, there we go. All right, pull this out. Slide this out carefully. And then you can pull out as many of these little rungs as you need to. You're going to slide this bottom piece back in. These two lines on each side, you're going to want to take those and stick them through these holes again. I'm going to put this through, through the cap and tie the knot there because that will make it a lot easier for me to deal with again if I ever feel like I need to get into this again. You're gonna wanna take these extra little pieces here and tuck them into the hole. Pop this cap back on there and there you go. Pop in the little caps on the sides which will help to hold the blinds down using the clips. You're gonna wanna place those clips where they need to go and mark the hole. You always wanna double check. They say, measure twice, cut once, and that is absolutely true. And once you're sure you've got it in the right spot, mark the hole, pre-drill some holes. Be very careful to not drill all the way through the wall if you're working in a situation like I was. Add the screws, and then of course you repeat the process on the other side. Place it into the clips. We ran into a little bit of an issue with the decorative cover that goes over the top of the blinds. Those side pieces were a little too long because of the way the blinds were recessed into the window. So we did have to take those back and get those trimmed. All right, then you want to attach the rod so you can open and close them. And there you go. This was so easy that I came home immediately, ordered my own, and installed them next to my front door. And I took a time-lapse video of it. hung on these windows for 10 years and I hated every minute of it and I'm really kicking myself now for not taking time earlier to put those blinds up. On another note, if anybody knows how to fix the seals on the insides of these windows without actually dismantling the entire door, please comment below. I would love to hear it.